Okay, so after we did our passes combination in Photoshop, we need to start and add photorealistic look to our 3D rendering. So how do we do it? The first step is of course to add an ambient occlusion pass. This can be done by downloading this plugin from here. Just simply click to download it and save it to your computer. After downloading it, it's a simple drag and drop plugin. Just drag and drop it into your 3D Max. Click install. And after installing it, you can find it here in Tools, ML Plugins, V-Ray Ambient Inclusion. Well, thank you very much, Lele. That's a wonderful plugin and I uh, use it uh, much often. Of course, there's a manual way to do it, but uh, I enjoy this plugin and um, therefore, thank you very much, Lele. Um, the next thing here, uh, you need to select your camera and uh, to increase the shutter speed or the film ISO I go basically with the film ISO I give uh, 1000 more 1200 or just 1000 can be just fine with ISO uh, then your image will be rendered um, very brightly uh, I think uh, it's because that we're using gamma 2.2 uh, if you just regularly start rendering it, your ambient occlusion pass will be very dark so therefore I increase my film ISO speed and uh, my image becomes my er my ambient occlusion pass rendered um, just fine I mean uh, really uh, lightened and exposed correctly um, here will be needed to save it you can save it is a PNG file and you can name it AO shortly ambient occlusion click OK and for this matter you need to hide all your uh, glass objects because uh, ambient occlusion basically don't get uh, don't have any glass so if you work correctly you must have an, uh, an a glass uh, layer here and my glass layer is uh, here big glass AO I just uh, created a new layer for this uh, glass and I can hide and unhide it very easily just by clicking on this layer so as you see here I deselected all my glass and now I'm ready to render this wonderful photorealistic pass I just click render and uh, go shopping alright now the render is done and here's our ambient pass Let's go check it out, how we can use it in Photoshop. This is our uh, passes combined image. And here's the first step to photorealistic look. This of course by adding an ambient occlusion pass. Ambient occlusion is an ambient light. It's light that uh, are not uh, motivated by uh, the sun or by the V-ray light or any light. It's just the ambient light, it's just the soft light that we got in our room, in our interior place. Um, also exterior uh, visualizations got ambient occlusion pass. It's uh, warmly recommended to use this pass in your scenes and especially when you do interior, interior designs, interior renderings. Okay, so we got here our pass and we are adding this pass to our uh, base layer it was combined from all the passes and this layer you can use on the multiply mode multiply mode is basically the mode that removes all the white colors and leaves all the black colors if I just click hide and unhide you can see how my image got huge impact of this uh, soft lightness that uh, goes around the scene um, the first thing that uh, we need to do is of course uh, to correct it a little bit so it fits much better to our image this you can do by adding a um, color balance and of course by slightly by using by adding a little bit of yellowish on the mid tones on a little bit of reddish on the high tones you can see that this pass is already uh, fits better to our rendering it got uh, much more better color and um, the transition is, uh, is much more better 
The next thing is you can um, you can add a little bit levels just to correct the past appearance. And as you see here, we are removing all the white colors and adding a little bit darkness, a little bit dark tones to our shadows, something like that. And the last thing is, of course, reducing the opacity of this layer. Something like this could be just fine. I don't suggest you to go beyond 50% of opacity. Of course, it depends on your scene, but um, about 25-26% could be just fine. And the last thing is adding a mask to this layer and, of course, removing the ambient pass from all unnecessary places like these trees here and these trees here as well you can use also great gray colors so the transition will be much more smoother something like this work just fine and voila we got our first step to the photorealistic image look let's just hide and unhide As you see here we are getting much more better um, much more softer lighting on the corners and our objects and our models uh, got much more accurate shadows going around them just one more time something like that this was before and this is how it looks now voila We've got much more better colors much more better distribution uh, one tip you can always do a little bit uh, lighter your uh, image so by adding an ambient occlusion pass you can darken all your lightened areas so your uh, image will look much more perfectly okay so this is it. Check out the next video, the next step for photorealistic video.